China restarts South China Sea negotiations, and warns its neighbors not to back America in contested waterways. After the United States announced that it would hold talks, with Southeast Asian countries on the South China Sea issue, China issued a warning to Southeast Asian countries on Thursday, asking them not to cooperate with the United States, on the South China Sea issue. Luo Jiaohui, Vice Minister of Asian and Pacific Affairs of China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs, also announced on Thursday that China will reopen negotiations with the member states of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations on the South China Sea Code of Conduct. In fact, the two sides have started relevant negotiations since 2002, but after Beijing insisted that countries outside the South China Sea should not participate in the negotiations, the negotiations between the two sides fell into a deadlock. In recent years, Southeast Asian countries have been forced to choose to establish an alliance with China or the United States. When Luo Jiaohui participated in a meeting, organized by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of China via video on Wednesday, he said that the United States is the source of disputes in the South China Sea. However, analysts believe that Luo Jiaohui's strong words may not allow the Chinese government to successfully win others. He did not propose a new way to solve the concerns of Southeast Asian countries about the South China Sea dispute. He said, in addition to intervening in the South China Sea issues, the United States has also established an anti-China little NATO alliance with Japan, Australia and India in the region. This fully demonstrates the Cold War mentality of the United States. He also condemned the 2016 South China Sea arbitration, based on the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea which ruled that China does not have maritime sovereignty over the Nine-Dash Line, and refuted China's possible expansion of military operations in the South China Sea. Zhu Feng, executive director of the China South China Sea Research Collaborative Innovation Center, at Nanjing University, told the South China Morning Post, that China is currently facing pressure from the United States in the political, diplomatic, and military fields. In addition to the diplomatic scuffle, recently, the Trump administration also objected to China's claims of the South China Sea, marking it the first time the U.S. government is taking a stance on the South China Sea dispute. To show its resolve, the United States has deployed two U.S. aircraft carriers battle groups, USS Ronald Reagan and USS Nimitz, to the area for military drills. In response, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman, Zhao Lijin, rebuffed that the United States is creating divisions among nations in the region and militarizing the South China Sea.